but like I said, they had to change something and Seb's gonna walk us through what it was. Hello, <laughs> yes I am. everyone and welcome to Christmas Eve with us the Indie Projects. I know it's just me and not Theo but collectively with the Indie Projects if you're new here I'm B and with my partner Theo we live in our Sprinter van on our land in Portugal whilst we are going to convert a barn. At the moment we're building an outhouse and I'm going to show you guys what Theo's been up to with that. He's made a lot of progress and we've also got some friends staying with us who are going to be here for Christmas which is really nice. It's been really good to spend time with them. You might have seen them in the live stream we did the other day. So I'll show you guys their van in a bit. We did do a van tour with them last year but they've had to make an alteration to their van because they couldn't get insurance to cover them in Europe for their big trip that they're on with one thing in there that they had to change so we'll show you that in a bit right now I'm doing the laundry I don't know if you saw the video that we did all about how we do laundry here but I'll pop a card up so you can see that so yeah once I've done the laundry I'll show you what Theo's up to I've also done a bit of tidying I know it looks a bit crazy because wires always look really messy no matter how tidy how much you tidy them but I've tidied up and organized all of our cupboards so our bedroom area is looking real nice, got fresh bed sheets on for Christmas. Need to get rid of some uh, Coke cans and my coffee cup from this morning. But yeah, the bedroom is getting nice and organised, which is brilliant because that's been on my mind for a while now. And I also freshly oiled the work surface. This is a solid oak kitchen work surface that we've got, so it does need oiling regularly to keep it nice and smooth. And I painted my nails, a beautiful emerald green, very Christmassy. <laughs> and I'm just boiling up our kettle to have a lovely nettle and peppermint tea whilst I do the laundry. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the so the laundry's all hanging up. I'm getting into a bit of a habit of doing my laundry really late in the day and having to leave it overnight to dry, but ah oh well, it'll dry. So this is Rose and Seb's van. I don't know if you saw it in the van tour, but these are new things that they've added on recently for their big massive trip that they're on. But like I said, they had to change something and Seb's gonna walk us through what it was. Hello, yes I am. <laughs> So where I'm sitting now, we used to have a log burner, which some of you might have seen from uh, on our Instagram and from the saw that Theo and B did. Uh, we really liked the coal burner, uh, it was really nice in the winter, but because we wanted to do long term travelling, we had to get rid of it. Now we could have stayed with the company that we were with, with the log burner, but we only had a 90 day uh, European travel permit with that and we wanted to do a full year so we've managed to find insurance that will do a full year but unfortunately they wouldn't insure the log burn and that was a case with a lot of people that we went to talk to um, so we had to make the tough decision of getting rid of it so what we've done is we've put the seat in uh, and in this seat here we've got a little cupboard and then we've got our diesel heater down here underneath so you literally slippers. took out the wood burner and replaced it with a diesel heater in the same Pretty space much, yeah we, in the same space the heat comes from the same area like it did before yeah um but now we've got this small little unit and this is much better for getting it hot a lot quicker you know i, I don't have to mess around with uh, with wood and coal when it's minus nine outside in the uk or anything i can just turn this straight on and it gets hot in a couple of minutes aesthetically we really like the wood burner but it took up a lot more space so like we've got all this space for hanging clothes and a little stocking now as well for our christmas presents um, for santa to uh, drop yeah, them off so tonight santa's gonna come here hopefully yeah. um so yeah we i think aesthetically we like the wood burner but practically this is much nicer having a little seat here that we can use to look out on the surroundings yeah it's um, good to have more storage space yeah, exactly as well. and like we didn't have anywhere for shoes to go before either we kind of just put them here there and everywhere behind the fire but um, it resulted in a couple of my Doc Martins getting melted oh, uh, when we forgot about them so like this is a lot safer <laughs> and a lot nicer as well yeah so it's brilliant. Have you made any other changes since we did the van tour with you? Um, have we made any other Are changes? Are those latches new? I don't feel so, like yeah, you so have the latches. La these latches are new on here so the bottom six they have a little lock on them 
that we lock from we take that we take one drawer out and lock it and then take the next one out. Okay. So just because we didn't want to put this uh, put these all in the front of these drawers because this, this this was in my mother's house so we kind of didn't want to deface it too much. Yeah. But the three on the top were quite nice. And we've got a new burner, three hob burner. Oh, that's cool. And this uh, yeah. Joseph Joseph drying rack. Oh, fancy. Cool. So that just goes straight into the sink, which is pretty nice because we hate doing washing up. So like. Oh, but who does just, enjoy it? I Definitely know. not me. Ro Rose is really good at it. Oh, so are you, Rose? She always does it all the time. <laughs> She's not I'm, here to I'm defend herself. At it, yeah. <laughs> um, so we got that, and we've put the same uh, kind of latches on these drawers. We've really done the drawers since we saw you guys before as well. Oh, um, uh, yeah. We kind of just made them a lot more sturdy. That's made, cool. Made a better frame for them, which has helped the airflow because we did have a bit of um, a condensation problem. Mm -hmm. So oh, was that under the bed? It was underneath the bed. Yeah. So what we did was we got this. Um, I don't know what you can see there, but we've got some uh, dry web matting that they use on ships. Oh right. To kind of create uh, airflow through underneath the mattress, and then we made a better frame that. Um, so that you know more air can flow through from the back as well oh, that's so that, clever. That, that instantly got rid of the entire condensation problem which was really good that's cool so that's like all the things that we've learned from living in the van since we first met you guys um it's just like you know little tiny little changes that we've made hand in hand building castles out of sand reaching oh. and the van is called Vincent and you don't have YouTube but you do have Instagram which is where you document everything and it's Vincent Van Life. It is, yeah, we're, we're at Vincent Van Life on Instagram. So if you guys want to know more and see the full on van tour with them, I'll put a card up that'll pop up on the screen. Oh, I can hear Gingy crying at you. <laughs> and their van is a Vauxhall Movano that they've been living in for quite a while now before they came traveling. So they have an interesting story, definitely check them out. So we're back at the cabin build. Things have been moving forward a little bit. <laughs> you just fall down the hill. <laughs> Don't show my feet. I'm wearing waterproof socks and He's sandals. Got waterproof socks on. They're amazing. And it looks like remember when you were in school and the kid would always like break his foot. <laughs> it looks like it's in, like in plaster or some sort. But anyway, also I've lost my hat. That's why so. he's got the hood on. <laughs> That's how I'm looking right now, Christmas Eve. Anyway. I've built two frames. I've built the front frame for the cabin, toilet, shower, block. I've built the back frame and I've just been laying out some of the cladding to see how it will look. I love this wood. It looks really cool. That looks so nice. It's very bright at the moment, but yeah, it I'm will age. certain that I'm going to stain it. Yeah, and it'll age as well, so it'll change colour as it gets older, I think. Yeah, I think a nice stain on there. This is lovely. Really nice. It smells rugged, so nice as well. Rugged edge. But basically, all I've got to do now is build the two side frames, but I've run out of wood. So I'm waiting for my guy to deliver the wood. My guy! I was hoping that he was going to deliver it today because Portugal's a funny place and you never know, they might deliver wood on Christmas Eve. <laughs> that would have been a nice Christmas present, but it doesn't look like he's going to turn up today, which means I'm going to have to wait. I'm hoping that he'll come in the period between Christmas and New Year because I really want to get cracking now. As soon as them two side walls uh, are done, then that's it, we're done. Like, that's the whole side of the cabins up. We can start cladding it and sorting out a roof and then we get to do the fun part of cladding the outside and designing the inside, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna do a dedicated video for the rest of the build, so stay tuned in the new year. And Theo is just about to have a bath because he's been working hard all day and he's to soak his body. We still haven't finished it, but it's not on the priority list right now. So if you want to know about this bath, we've got a video all about it. I will put a card to pop up here. So that is it, that is our Christmas Eve, what we've been getting up to today. It's been a pretty chilled out day, which has been really nice. I think we're going to be playing some Monopoly later with Seven Rose. I heard him say something about a Game of Thrones themed one, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for our last day of Vlogmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.